our local woodworking group will be making multiple Adirondack chairs for a summer camp dedicated to children with cancer. For a successful project, we will need a detailed and comprehensive design of the chairs, including an assembly diagram and an orthographic view from top, side, and front dimensioned and an exploded view and then of course each component with detailed dimensions. Here is just one example of the details of the lower leg. This kind of information will help each member of the group understand the configuration and what uh, cuts to make. However, we also need a way to efficiently use the lumber on hand for this project. The lumber supply is fixed as it is special old growth redwood recovered from a hot tub. The challenge is to use this limited lumber supply to minimize waste and to produce the maximum number of chairs. My approach to this challenge is to use SketchUp to plan how chair components are distributed to the given planks of redwood. We have on hand three unique plant pla plank configurations all at one and a half inch thickness. Eight and a half inch wide by 72 inch long, five and a half inch wide by 47, and five and a quarter wide by 60. The first step in my process is to reorient each of the components so they lie flat on the planks as they would in the shop. Now, an example of, let me show an example of how I will reorient the components. I'll pick these back slats and pull a copy over on the red axis using the move tool and then with the rotate tool reorient these so that they'll fit flat on the slats. First come up with to the blue axis. When it says blue axis I stop the rotation and then rotate again this direction and now the and when I get to the red axis stop now I've got flat components that can be brought down to a plank of wood and any one of the plank configurations and in trial and error uh, fit these various components on the plank configurations to try to get the minimum waste and the maximum number of and this is what I ended up getting for four chairs the legs fit very well on the 60 inch length and five and a quarter inch width planks and then the arms also fit very well on the 60 inch length planks by five and a quarter. The back slat layout results in some waste because of the lengths here and then the, the seat stretcher and the upper back supports work well with these configurations and then the seat slats uh, are placed on the 72 inch lengths that are wider eight and a half inch wide and that works out quite well. So we've achieved some efficiency in the lumber but the other thing is that the group will be able to work more efficiently by knowing 
where to make the cuts.